As you may know from my last video, I was due to undertake an experiment using deuterium depleted water to act as a potential prevention strategy um, to prevent future recurrence of my disease that may or may not be in there. We can't see anything, but we can't detect anything, but we don't know. It's always a risk that something could come back in future. Now, I had to postpone this experiment as uh, last week I received some quite devastating news, not about me, but it directs me, it, it affects me um, directly. Um, it affects me indirectly, rather but it affects me quite profoundly and deeply. So, understandably, I had to think about preventing this, but as I thought about preventing it, um, preventing? Postponing. See, I can't even think properly. As I thought about postponing it, I was thinking about more ways to quantify the experiment, and um, it was obvious that I needed to test the deuterium in my body, so I um, ordered a kit from Signature Health. Uh, i put a link below if you want to, if you're interested in that, if you want to know more about it, and if you are more interested from reading where you can get one of these kits to measure, it measures deuterium in your breath, and also a saliva test. Um, I think there's other methods too. So, yes, uh, I did these tests um, earlier today and I should get the results fairly quickly because the test kit arrived um, quite swiftly, so I was pleased with that. I ordered it uh, just over a week ago and it came within just a few days, so that's pretty, pretty good for the distance it had to travel. Um, so yeah, I have my water, I have, I, once I get my, um, test results back, I'll have my baseline measures from which to test against measures once I complete the experiment. I will be doing my, um, different uh, concentrations of the water, having it further depleted water as I go along on the experiment. That's the protocol that I'm adopting for this one. Um, I've also been reading the uh, book on um, the, uh, the actual clinical trials that have been done using this water. It's only trials on a uh, small groups of patients, but the um, details within those trials are quite interesting. So it does provoke further discussion if you um, read these, uh, these uh, papers from those trials and uh, those write-ups and those case studies, the human case studies, very interesting and the animal case studies too, not just rodents. But we do need to, it's, in, it's an emerging area, so we do need to learn a lot more about it. At the moment, away from that, I need to come to terms with what I, uh, the news that I got last week, because as I say, it affects me quite profoundly. Um, but I need to think of myself as well, even though I don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a difficult time at the moment, but it's all about perspective. And in life, there is suffering, but there are also lots of good things. So you need to hold on to the good and uh, release any negative feelings. Life is finite. So, 
um, not going to live forever, but we can try and live in the best way possible. And obviously, yeah, it's um, try and live as long as we can and keep things from coming back for as long as we can if we're in the situation that I'm in and other people. It'd be interesting trying this deuterium depleted water because it's linked to, well, heavy water, which is high in deuterium. Is linked to depression and uh, neurological diseases and cancer and just feeling unwell, unwellness, if that's a word. Um, just poor health in general. So consuming deuterium depleted water um, and restoring in cancer, restoring activity of fumarate hydratase uh, has tumor suppressor effects and um, it's an interesting idea we'll see how it, we'll see if it has any effect for me <laughs>